Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Well, 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 here we are. ECB Day, 13 December. Last ECB meeting of the year. I suggest you put on your big boy pants today. Uh, this is going to be a fun day to trade. A lot of people are hoping for a hawkish uh, ECB, including myself. That's dangerous. Whenever you use the word hope in a sentence with FX trading, this is dangerous. So I want to remind everyone and remind myself, you need to be open-minded. Uh, the reason why this is important is mainly because we've been in, stuck in this range and we need a catalyst to get us out of this range. ECB is an obvious catalyst to move euro dollar. Downside's pretty set, 113.05 or 113 the figure, and then 112.70 if he's crazy dovish and if he's very hawkish. Uh, I think you want to start buying through 114 and then add at 114.40. Looks like the announcement at uh, 145 Swiss time is going to be pretty standard, pretty straightforward. Um, and we'll just have to see how he treats uh, the political problems in Europe. The slowing economy in Germany, see if he really cares about this. Um, and if he doesn't, and he ends QE, and he gives a little bit of a less dovish bias, I think because the market is short euros, uh, this has a chance to go higher more easily than it has a chance to go lower. That said, if they're extending QE, or if he's dovish, uh, if he talks about restarting QE again because of the problems, uh, Euro will go lower. And it'll have a harder time going lower because the market is short, but because it's an ECB meeting, positioning certainly for the day, uh, you have to throw out the window. There's going to be fast money, knee jerk reactions. So. What can I say? Uh, we are seven hours, seven and a half hours away from the presser, about seven hours away from uh, the announcement. So get your head right, uh, get your strategies down, and get ready to make some money today. Boons, as we talked about yesterday, uh, it's important that they close below 80. We like short boons uh, up here. You know, as we were approaching this uh, 163.50, that was about 20 basis points for the boons. Again, we're not we're not crazy fixed income traders. We make the majority of our money in currencies, but when we see things getting way out of line, um, you know, we have to get involved. So we're short, uh, short boons, and we're also short, uh, short these long bonds here as well. Same idea, basically. Uh, when the yield starts approaching three on the thirty-year, uh, we think it's silly, and so we start testing the water with a, a tradable short, uh, which is sort of a safe way to be short. We're not, we're not uh, Texas Hold'em, all the chips in the center of the table short. Uh, tradable short is the way for us, at least uh, in fixed income, because it's not really our, uh, not really what we're famous for, or what we've made the majority of our money in our career uh, doing. So, but keep in mind, these are also uh, effectively driving some of the FX moves. Uh, as U.S. bonds go lower. Obviously, uh, there will be some notion to sell dollars as boons go lower. Um, I'm sorry, as boons go lower, there will be some uh, notion to buy euros. And as U.S. fixed income goes lower, there will be some notion to buy dollars. So, you know, we're always, we always have a little bit of an eye on this. And if you're with us on these shorts from the 143 handle uh, and from the 163 handle in Boons. Uh, tradable short here. 
Obviously, Boons are going to go crazy today at ECB. So don't be a hero. Make sure your risk parameters are set. Euro yen. Yesterday we had that uh, monkey business down at 128.40. Uh, I won't go into the names, but I'm sure a lot of you saw it. British Bank was crossing the offer for about an hour between 40 and 55 in Euro yen. Uh, and then oddly, uh, a bunch of Euro positive news came out about a trade deal confirmed with Japan. EU confirms a trade deal with Japan. Italy suddenly uh, is more amenable to uh, lower budget deficit targets. Um, so, who knows? We certainly don't believe in coincidences here. Uh, I was quite surprised how obvious uh, that flow was. It was obviously in huge size as well. Lord knows exactly what it was, but um, a little bit of funny business there yesterday in Euro Yen and also Euro Swiss. Uh, similar funny business at 112.44. Uh, between 44 and 54. Anyway, we're not here to uh, talk about conspiracy theories or whatnot, but we are here to talk about flows. There was obvious buying down there in good size. And here we are about to sort of break the higher end of this range. Obviously, 129, the figure is important. 03 has been the, the high today. Uh, we don't, I wouldn't suggest jumping on board to Euro Yen long tier, but this could be a proxy uh, during the uh, ECB, Euro Yen, and or Euro Dollar are the horses that we should ride. What else is out there? Dollars are. Uh, if you were brave, you could pick some up yesterday, as we talked about, around 15. Uh, we do think this is uh, this is going to hold at the figure here. Uh, if the ECB is massively dovish, you got to be careful with this. Uh, obviously, if Euro shoots higher, there will be pressure for this to go down to sort of 1390 or 1385. We don't see this breaking this pivot low here at 13.55, and, and this is what we're watching. We have just little peanuts uh, in this. We're not seriously uh, looking at this today. Our focus is more on Euro. But for those of you who are trading it, just wanted to bring it up. Finally, can we talk about sterling, or should we just skip it? I mean... Really, what the fuck? We tried to get long yesterday, uh, 125.40. Got stopped, of course. Like, when's the last time I got paid uh, in sterling? Anyway, Teresa won the confidence boat, as everyone knows. They can't really hassle her for the next year. This is effectively positive in a sense that it looks like now there's going to be. Well, actually, I have no idea what. It, actually, I take that back. Logic would dictate there's going to be some sort of deal, and this will be over with in the next three months. But of course, logic and British politics don't really don't really work super well together. So, um, what can I say? Uh, it's just avoid sterling, I guess is what I should say. This came close to a full bullish engulfing yesterday, but now we're back at 126.17. I have no idea what to do with it. Uh, I would advise not trading it, frankly. It's a mess. It's a, a hot mess. Is that, uh, is that the right metaphor? I'm not sure. Um, finally, Aussie Cad Kiwi, we're not really doing anything there. Gold, we don't care. Crude, don't care. Focus is on Euro today. Uh, so, take a good look at Euro Yen, take a good look at Euro Dollar, and put your strategies together. I'll pop onto Twitter uh, as usual to throw a little uh, color into the day. And with that, I will wish you a good and very, very profitable trading day today. Ciao.